Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the new Acer Predator Helios 300. This one's the 17 inch model. The Helios 300 is kind of like their mid-range gaming laptops, which is right above the Acer Nitro 5 and just below the regular Predator line. Let's go and break down the specs. You're getting an Intel Core i7-7700HQ, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, 1TB drive plus 256 SSD, 17.3-inch Full HD IPS, GTX 1060 with 60GB of GDDR5. The retail price is $1199, but you can catch it on sale right now at Costco for $1099. Unlike the 15 inch version of this laptop, which has an aluminum lid, this model is made out of all plastic. I was very disappointed to find out. The weight comes in at around 6.61 pounds and its thickest point is around 1.14 inches. The plastic lid does tend to flex more than the 15 inch model, but in terms of keyboard flex there's hardly any thanks to the metal deck construction. Acer makes it easy to upgrade your 2.5 inch hard drive and your RAM, but in order to access all the other components you have to remove all these screws. Here goes your 4 cell battery pack. And then you got your two fan setup, wireless card, two RAM slots. This model features 16 gigs, you can expand to 32 gigs, and your M.2 SSD drive. On the left side of the laptop, you got your security lock slot, RJ45 Ethernet, USB Type C, full size HDMI, USB 3, and an SD card reader. On the right side, you got your headset microphone jack combo, two USB 2s, power status LED indicators, and your charging port. The 17.3 inch Full HD IPS panel was surprisingly very good. I was definitely surprised. Compared to the 15 inch model, this one blows that one out of the water. The sRGB rating came in around 91% and the Adobe RGB scored 69%. The viewing angles, contrast ratios, and brightness levels were well above average. By the way, the brightness levels came in at around 372 nits. In my opinion, it seems like Acer hooked up the 17 inch model with a better panel and the 15 inch model with better build quality, especially that aluminum lid. You do get a standard full size keyboard with a number pad. The keys do feel kind of mushy, but give it a couple of days and you'll get adjusted to it. The only knock I have here is the arrow keys and the right shift key are pretty close together and it can cause some errors. Besides that, this is a decent keyboard overall. And yes, you do get a backlit keyboard, but there's only one option, either on or off. The trackpad is pretty good, it's using Windows Precision Drivers, two finger scrolling, tracking, and multi-touch was pretty responsive. The only knock here is push to click is very firm. The Core i7-7700HQ is a quad-core cable-like chip that offers a great amount of horsepower for your productivity. The GPU selected for this laptop is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with 60GB of GDDR5. With overwatch running at 1920 by 1080p on ultra settings, I was getting an average around 85 to 95 frames per second. And hot new games like PlayerUnknown's Battleground will average around 55 to 65 frames per second on low settings. Overall, the GTX 1060 with 60GB of RAM offers pretty good performance for many of today's top hits. And best of all, it's also VR ready. With regular usage, the new 3D Aeroblade metal fans do a pretty good job of keeping this laptop running cool and quiet. During extended gameplay, the fans can get pretty loud and usually hovers around 48 to 50 decimals. After about an hour of gameplay, the exterior temperatures did get pretty hot, I was getting around 50 to 55 degrees Celsius, and towards the top it even rose up to around 58 to 60 degrees Celsius. Next up, after extended tests, here's some CPU and GPU temps. The CPU was around 84 degrees, and the GPU was around 79 degrees. This is a pretty cool program called Predator Sense. Here you can monitor fan control, overclock the GPU, and again, monitor your CPU and GPU temps. Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Test out the webcam, the Acer Predator Helios 300. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Battery life was decent. I was getting around 4 to 5 hours with the screen brightness set to around 40%. Now keep in mind this is a pretty bright panel, so 40% was more than enough for me for indoor usage. There are two bottom facing speakers and they're powered by Dolby Audio, and the sound quality is actually pretty good. They're also loud and crisp. The only knock here is the lack of a subwoofer as the low ones are very weak. So here's a quick recap of the Acer Predator Helio 17 inch. For 1100 bucks, you're getting a laptop that has some great specs and value. The Core i7-7700HQ has plenty of horsepower, and the GTX 1060 offers great performance for many of today's top hits. The build quality did take a step back compared to the 15 inch model, especially the top lid is now plastic instead of aluminum. However, the 17 inch model has a much better IPS panel, with some pretty good color accuracy, and the brightness is great. This is a chunky laptop that weighs around 6.6 .6 pounds, but most people looking for a 17 inch laptop are looking for a desktop replacement, so weight shouldn't really matter. The keyboard did feel mushy at first, but after a couple of days I started to like it much more. The Windows Precision trackpad is on target, but push to click is a little on the firm side, Overall, the Acer Predator Helios 317 inch version offers an incredible VR gaming package at a price point of only $1,100. Alright guys, this is about wraps of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know many of you guys have seen the review on the 15 inch model, but I want to know what you guys think about this new 17 inch model. Let me know in the comments down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.